Good morning, Chickadoes and Chickadees. Today is Wednesday, October 14th, and this is your lesson video. So what I want you to do today is you're gonna log in to Albert IO. Albert IO is a test prep website. I love it. I love because it's not complex and it has so many opportunities to learn. And I love how after you take a quiz, based on like my recommendations and stuff like that, it, it tells you the right answer and it tells you why. Like a lot of exams we have, we never get the reason why A was the better answer or C was the better answer, even though we know, we, we feel it in our bones that it's B. I love how they give a justification so that we can learn the game. We can understand where they're coming from and the perspective we need to adopt when we are taking their kind of tests. We need to learn how to beat the game. So what you're gonna do, is you're going to go into Albert IO exam prep and you're going to log in. The way I log in is I use my Google information. You know, make sure you're signed to your, your portal, you're opened in your email. And when you get to Albert, log in using your school information. In today's folder, I also included the class codes. If you are in sixth period, please type in this code to join a class. And if you are in seventh period, please type in the bottom code to join a particular class. Once you are in, it should, uh, it's, it's user-friendly, I like it. You should be able to see your classes, you should be able to see assignments, that's how I click on it. And today, if we look at the all, I assigned you the George H. W. Bush biography. So it's gonna give you a passage to read and there's only six questions. After each question that you submit, it's gonna tell you the right answer and it's gonna give you the justification whether or not you're right. What I want you to know is I'm not taking a grade for the quiz, okay? I want this to be a measurement for you of how comfortable you feel, how ready you feel, or to give an idea of where you're struggling, if it's a really tough question or a really tough quiz after all. I don't want you to feel pressured to cheat because we all know it's about the grade, it's about that number, and you're gonna do anything that it takes to get that 100, even if it means searching the internet for possible answers. I don't want you to feel pressured for this. I want this to be a true attempt of, for you, of how are you gonna do, uh, do on this? The grade I am gonna take is the reflections, but I'll get to that later. So again, please don't feel tempted to cheat. Don't feel tempted to go try to find the right answer, because even if you get all of them wrong, and you're not getting a grade for the quiz. I want this to be a true measurement of how you're doing and see how you progress and where your strengths and weaknesses are. So please do not feel pressured to cheat. It's not gonna help you in this. Just read the, the, the passage and answer the questions as best as you can. That's all I ever want from you. After each question and after the test, you should be able to see the justification, their explanation of why C was better or why D was wrong. I want you to take a good look at those justifications and pick one that you got totally wrong, that you had no idea, or even when you got right, but you don't know why you got it right. It was just like a hunch, it was just a gut instinct, but you cannot <clears throat> uh, discuss why you got it right, right, why that A was the right answer. Pick one of those six questions to do today's assignment. When you go into the assignment, this is where I'm gonna take the grade. This is where I wanna see your growth, your learning, your discovery. So after you take the quiz, take one of the questions, and I want you in, in a Google Doc or in the Create section of the submit is put the name, which is the whole George W. Bush uh, biography. Type the question, tell me your answer. So like maybe you answered A, but really it was C. Type in answer A for three, type in the right answer for four, and then your reflection is your evidence of your learning, your evidence of awareness, your uh, evidence of understanding. Read the justification that it gives you and then craft a response of what happened. What I give you here are some questions if you need something to help you to get started with. All right, so today take an Albert quiz that's assigned to you. Take one of the questions and reflect on it. We'll do more as the year goes on, but I want you to give a taste of it. But that's what I want you to do today. Take the Albert quiz, do the best that you can, honestly and faithfully. And then once you finish with the quiz, pick one of the questions to reflect on and submit it for today. And just follow the structure. Quiz, the question, your answer, 
the correct answer, even if you got it right, but you don't know why, and discuss. Have a conversation with me, five to seven sentences of what happened, what did you learn, what is revealed. All right? I love y'all. Have a wonderful day and make good choices. Bye, guys.